Tonight on News for Jax at 11, tracking Hurricane Helene, most of our area is under a tropical storm warning as we prepare for this massive storm to make landfall. We are fewer than 24 hours from that landfall. Helene could be a Category 4 storm when it does arrive in Florida's Big Bend. And shelters in our area, they're open this evening, and schools have canceled classes for tomorrow. We're covering all the aspects of the preparation here in our area, including people stocking up on gas and groceries. First, Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist Richard Nunn joining us to discuss when we'll start feeling the effects of the storm. Richard? Surveilling some of it outside right now as we've got some of those rain bands that are moving through, but progressively things get worse tomorrow with the wind picking up, especially here and along I-75 and rounds of what will be some of the heavier rain here. There's the Category 4. Here's Thursday in the evening. So like we've said throughout the week, the models have been pretty consistent consistent here in showing a landfall coming in eight, maybe as late as nine o'clock here. And I say that only because we've seen forward speed kind of hit the uh, break a little bit back down to the single digits. Barometric pressure is down to 972 and the wind speed maintains the same here at 85 miles an hour. Um, the area that was going to be moving into at one point as the cone was a little bit wider, it was stretching anywhere from around Perry, Florida, and then over here to the panhandle. And I do want to point out as we get a little bit closer here, let me square the map up just so we can uh, see where we're going. As we zoom in, I was talking about Apalachicola and I got a couple of messages from some folks that are familiar here with the uh, Big Bend region and one of the areas that I was pointing out uh, as far as potential impact area, we talked about Carabelle and I'd mentioned Sop Choppy a number of times. I just wanted to show you that we're still in that area coming across the home of the Gruning Festival here where they take a little bow and a stick in. You get the worms to come out a beautiful little area, but this folks is going to be hard hit by what could be that category or likely now with all the models pointing that way to that category four hurricane as it makes landfall coming in during the evening hours. The effects here at home are still going to be felt even though we're not in the cone. We're going to go through some of the effects, the timeline, how long this sticks around and some of the key factors that we'll be planning for as we get ready for Hurricane Helene on Thursday. I'll have that coming up. All right, Richard, thank you.